George Lyons came up with a 38-35 win over Angelo State, and you had the game-winning punt block was named player of the game in the NCAA t Division II game of the week. Walk us through that play and the punt block. Uh, before the play, the coach was trying to hold me out for the fourth quarter, but I told him I would go in, and I, I don't know. I just I just knew I was going to block the punt, and I did. Darby, you've caught touchdown passes in the last three games, and the one against Angelo early in the first half was it proved to be big. What it was kind of walk us through that game and what the offense went through there. Started off hot and kind of cooled down late. Uh, yeah, we came out pretty hot, and they couldn't really stop us on offense. And then in the second half, they, it seemed like they came out with some adjustments, and we had to get together as a team and really figure out a way to make some thir uh, first downs and keep the ball moving to seal out the game. What have you seen from WT's offense on film, or what are some keys for the Lions' defense in that game? WT is a good opponent. They've been a good opponent since we've played them, and our coaches are from there. So, I mean, I believe if our defense pull together again this week, we have another team win. Walk us through what you've seen on film from this WT defense, and what are some keys for the lying offense coming up on the road in a tough place to play out in Canyon? Um, they look like a good, pretty good physical defense, and I think that uh, we're probably going to have to establish the run game to get us going, and then we're going to see if the pass game can open up and then just go on from there and win. Big win in front of a national audience, 38-35 here in Memorial Stadium against Angelo State and special teams and you, we talk about winning on all three facets the Lions won in all three facets of that ball game walk us through that team effort yeah, it was a great game uh, it was a great uh, game by two really good teams and and uh, our guys did play really well played hard uh, for four quarters and uh, we were able to hold on and get a big win on, on national TV but uh, I really felt like special teams was a difference we played well on defense uh, for most of the night and held you know number one offense at the time in the nation uh, in check and, and offensively we were able to put up a lot of points in the first first half we got pretty conservative the second half and and a lot of that's you know credit to Angelo State you know both defenses came out in the second half and made some good adjustments and, and slowed the game down but all, all in all special teams uh, throughout the night really uh, really proved to be the difference. Richard Cooper's run for 100 yards in the first six games of the season. That is a Lions school record. Ties him for the most consecutive games. Could you want to talk about his effort on the year and, and what the offensive line's been able to do to open up the holes for Richard and for Theo? Yeah, the old line's played great all year. Uh, Harrison's done a great job getting us in some good situations. You know, a lot of that uh, goes back to our quarterback play and, and uh, just uh, making the right decisions uh, pre-snap and at the line and everything else. But, you know, Richard's been very very steady. He's a, he's a great back. He's proven that for – his whole career here and and uh doing a, doing a great job this year shoot you know we've got two backs averaging over 100 yards so uh you, you take one of those other equations we'd have a guy that really be up tops in the country but uh you know it's it's a it's a it's a team effort and our guys have really bought in this year to playing team football and i think that's why we're having the success we are looking ahead at wt this weekend in canyon you're familiar with that stadium in that area that's a tough place to go in and play and what have you seen from film from wt on the offense and defense that might be some keys for the Lions coming up. Well, you talk about great tailbacks. You know, uh, Wink's, uh, you know, the best in the business. Uh, so he's going to be really tough to uh, to slow down, Jeremy Aldridge, and, and uh, you know, you just hope to contain him. He's going to get his yards, and, and uh, he, he's a fantastic football player. they got a, a really strong offensive line. Uh, they're going to be a tough, tough opponent. Defensively, they're as physical as we've faced uh, all season and really big up front, and, and our offensive line, again, will have – their work cut out for them, and it, it'll be an exciting game. I have a feeling, and and uh, it's a tough place to tough place to play. So uh, we're gonna go up there and give it our best. See what happens.